Hello there folks, this is your friend and your host Normally Junction welcoming you back for another episode of Building the Olympic slash Titanic and today we are going to focus on the gymnasium. Before we start, uh, same as usual, I just want to thank you to all my new subscribers who have joined the channel and reaching me over the 700 mark. That is absolutely amazing, you are all awesome and thank you for all your support. So let's get a move on. So today we are going to do the gymnasium. So uh, what you need to do is the gymnasium on both the Olympic class liners was located on the uh, starboard side, on the right hand side of the point towards the bow. So you need to come over to here where we'll be building the grand staircase. And we're going to start off with this doorway here. So what you need to do first is get your great concrete, come down to the doorway, and you just need to go in by two to the left. So I start on this block here. So what I mean by that is a block here and a block there. Okay. So you got like a three because we're going to do the doorway first. So you need a different color block. So we'll just use some smooth stone for now. We'll change that in a moment. So it's just three across. And on the pillar quartz, uh, you're going to go up by at least eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then get your smooth stone, or like I said, we used a uh, dark concrete before. But I'll just use smooth stone at the minute. So it's three across like this. And then light grey concrete, put a block down. And then you just go up again with the pillar course. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and an eight. Okay, so that's your door frame. And in the middle, just get a block of quartz and fill it in. And just like you guys know, with the gymnasium, I'm not actually going to actually do the equipment. <laughs> Uh, I'm not really coming around to doing that really. Like I say, this build here of the Olympic and the Titanic, I'm just doing the rooms you see and most of the staircases and the boilers and the vents and all that jazz. Uh, but any individual furniture, equipment, anything like that, uh, I'm afraid I'd have to leave it to your imagination guys because that would take me a long time to do. Uh, I, mean, I mean, probably would do a video to explain it, but it probably would be far in the future. But this is basically how the, uh, the gymnasium room was laid out. Okay. Um, I mean, I know there's like a famous uh, video of the Olympic of a guy punching a punch bag. Uh, I might look it up actually and see if you can see. It's really fascinating videos you can see online about how the ship used to look back in the old days. But anyway, back to the video. Okay, so what you need to do now is return to your light grey concrete. Okay, so what we are going to do is actually there's like a little canopy uh, overhanging both these uh, doors here. So we'll start on this side. Okay, sorry, that meant the middle. So you need to come out, let's check my notes, about four. So it's one, two, three, four. You need the middle of these three here. And you need white concrete and you fill it up towards the top, below the where the dark oak is. Okay, so let's fill that all the way up there, and there, and there. Okay, so it looks like this. So we're splitting the doorway basically. And what we could do now is actually do the other door on this, on this frame here. So get your pillar quartz just put a block here you're going out by three so that's one two three and we just make that a little bit more square like that now we go up by six so that's one two three four five six so I say it's got a little run there you need to go off the bottom block too. so let me just double check there so that's one two three four five six uh, one two three four five six and then like I say, I've got a glass block here and I got like this little portal design on the uh, steampunk pack. So it gives me like, that nice little circle there. And then get your pillar quartz and make sure you point it towards the left or the right block. Put it in. And then you go down by two blocks. That's one, two, put one there. And then white concrete, fill in the gap. And fill in the gap. Okay, so it looks like that. But also as well, if you want to do this, just make the doors a bit more fancier you get your quartz stairs you can also do this so, i mean make it more like a door put one there one there one there and one there it gives it a bit more of a door feel a bit more ship shape looking <laughs> so to speak so what you do now just give it a little door handle i use the dark oak fence and put it on top of the quartz, uh, quartz, the pillar quartz here on the middle block, just about there. Make it more like a door, but obviously we can't see the other side because obviously that's in the way. Uh, and based on this door here, you just you do need to remove this one handle here for this next bit to work because uh, basically there is a little wall here as well that's going to hide it. So what I mean by that is get your light grey concrete where the door is, this block here. Okay, so that's four as well. So that's one, two, three, four. And once again, get your white concrete and go upwards. There we 
go. Make sure it's all filled in. Okay. And what you need to do now is you do need to get, uh, which I don't have ready, uh, dog oak planks. Okay, so we are going out from this block here. If that's above this frame here, this which is that one there, which is totally on the wrong one. You need to go out by at least four. So that's one, two, three, three, four. Okay, and then what you need to do next is just put a block here. And then a temporary, that's a temporary block, and actually another old block here. Okay, so can we actually remove these quartz slabs here? There you go. Right, so this old block, which we have now down now, we need to go out to the left by eight. So that's, so that's one, which is nine in total. I apologize. So that's nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we need to do like two inwards. So that's, just, that's one, two, remove that block. 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 One, two. Oh, it may stay there, but we can keep that block because we're going to join it to the center here as it joins up there. Okay. And next thing you need to do now is actually get your quartz slab and basically put the quartz slab on the top. There you go. So it looks like that. And let's make a little roof for it. There you go. So you put that one there. I mean, you leave this bit here blank because this is where the deck's going to seat set. And what you do next is you get, go back to your slabs, uh, go to the dark oak slabs, and start filling the gaps here. So basically put one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and another, and another, and another, and another. And then you need to go back to your slabs again. Get the birch, birch slabs. And basically start filling the gap. So start here, fill all this in. There we go. There we go. And be about there. So we do need to get some more uh, dark oak slab, which I do now. I'll just do this little section here. There we go. Fills all the old tap. So I'll just put one, two. There you go. And just let me get that dark oak slab back. As I say, a big thank you to all my new subscribers. It does mean the world to me that you are joining me on this journey. Uh, so like I can say, if you are enjoying, if you're a newcomer, or as I say, you're just watching this just now, you can actually give it a like, give it a subscribe, ring that bell, and you can join me on this journey as well on this Minecraft adventure. But like I say, I do appreciate you all you joining me and giving me the time. Um, right, okay, so what you need next, enough of me talking, let's just get on with it. Uh, go back to your smooth quartz slabs. And just fill the underneath where the birch is and the dark oak is underneath. So that's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, uh, one, two, three, four. And obviously, we're going to need to do a double here just to make the gap between the concrete and the smooth quartz slab. There you go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go. So that's that, that, that done. And just to make it a bit more planed out, where the dark oak blocks is here, just put another slab. Uh, well, quartz slab. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And fill that one in, that one in, that one, that one in. But not that one in, because obviously we're going to fill in this gap here. Okay, so that's the little canopy overhead, but we'll do the, uh, the, uh, the rail afterwards, after we complete the gymnasium. Okay, so that's the door into the gymnasium done. So what we need to do now is put down uh, a lime. Uh, so basically, you need to get your smooth stone. Okay, uh, if you just bear with me, let's get my bearings. Check my notes, these, these glorious notes. <laughs> okay, right, okay, on the inside, you need to get your smooth stone. And by the way, folks, as well, I'll put down sat labels here, here. We're going from frames 28 to 13. Okay, so on the port side, obviously we still got smooth stone. I replaced them all with the quartz block. So if you could do the same as well, should I start at the beginning of that really, shouldn't I? Okay, so we need to go back here, starting on this inside corner here, put a smooth stone block there. This is just gonna be a temporary line as well. So bring it across all the way until you come between frames. Let me check my notes here again. Uh, it's always normal for a normal junction, but you'll to make mistakes. 
Okay, so you need to come in between frames 13 and 14 in the middle. So if I find frames 13 and 14, which is quite easy, this block here, so it's this block here. So I'll come all the way until I come level with that one. There you go. So that's in between frames 13 and 14. And obviously line it up here. Okay, and then you need to go inward like this. I mean, also what you can do as well, folks, you can do sea lanterns. And remember what we used to do yellow, the yellow blocks uh, like as reference points. But if you put a quartz in there, it sort of lights up at night when we, put, when we over cover it. So by all means, you can do a quartz box and you do, excuse me. <laughs> I still not fully recovered from my cold. So you got to bear with me, guys. OK, so heading inwards. OK, so if we start from this corner again, so I was just using this down as reference. OK, we need to go inward by at least 23 blocks. So this is the first one. The sea lantern is the first one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. OK, and that should line up. If we do another in fact, this one on the inside, just put a great, great concrete line now, guys. Actually, no, sorry, ignore me. Get smooth, so I'll pull it all the way in until we hit the back of the grand staircase. And that should line up with this, this pillar here, which it does. Okay, that's great, because that actually, see this quartz from here, this actually, this line here is actually going to run the full length of the ship. So it's a good reference point. So that's rough. I mean, if you look at this side, it's the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh pillar in. So that is the outline of the gymnasium there. OK, now what you need to do next is get your grey concrete. Go on the outside of the smooth stone like this. OK, so and then go inwards. And it is a little different on the outside because this section here now there's like a raised platform area. It's where the compass platform, the dome over the lounge is located. Uh, it's a little bit of a raised section. It's basically the center of the ship. So we're not going to go fully all the way in, but we do need to go. Check my notes again. So we will go to the end for now. I mean, I will remove blocks maybe on the next when I come to the raised platform. So we'll leave it up to there to now. Okay, so next stage, get a block of quartz again. Now go all the way across on top of the grey concrete. There we go. And then basically go back to the corner here. Like I say, we're just going to line it up here as well, guys. So be one second. So you might as well start filling it in here. So bear with me. There we go. So from from the below the um, dark oak block, this block here. Bring this block, these liner blocks, all the way up to the end until we come level flush this section here. I mean, really, I should have counted the blocks, really, but I was going off the frames, but you get the gist. Like I say, as long as you're in between frames 13 and 14 in the middle, right there, you're safe. Okay, so that's how high it is. And once again, again get your dark old planks blocks, pull it straight across. There we go. And it's the same for the other side. Get your block of quartz, head upwards, and basically do the same for this side as well. Okay, there we go. There we go, so it should look like that. Get your dark old planks again. And also get your quartz slabs, put that on top. go like I say if there's any questions at all don't don't uh, wait around and just ask me okay <laughs> leave a comment below and I'll try and answer it as quickly as I can in fact I'll move that slab there I don't like that one so we should just put a birch one on that one so basically that is basically the height of the gymnasium so we're going to do the start on the inside this time rather than the outside so what you need on the inside is your oak wood now on this frame here which number are we on again i think it's 27 yes it's 27 because we're going downwards now because we're going to the center of the ship uh number 27 here just put a down a oak block there 
Now put down a oak block on each of the frame lines. What I mean by that is there should be a gap of three. So there's one there, gap of three, one, one there, gap of three, one there, 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 and one there. Oh, hang on, and one there. That's it. There we go, gap of three. So on to the next bit is let me check my notes again. Okay. So this one here on the oak blocks, um, sorry, oak block. Yeah, the oak, the oak wood blocks. Put it on top of the sea lantern and give it a gap of three again. So that's one, two, three. Gap of three. So I'm about to show you just there. So it's in the corner this time. Gap of three. 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 And uh, basically leave it blank there. So basically you can put the oak block just there. Uh, sorry, actually no, it's not. Yeah. Oh no, it is because it lines up with the other wall. <laughs> and do the same again on the other side. So every time you see one of the frame lines, put your oak wood wood block. You know what? I'm really not getting my words out tonight. Maybe I should just go to bed. Should do really. It's really late where I am. I think the caffeine hasn't hit in yet. Never stay up too late, kids. It's not good for the memory or the brain. <laughs> okay. So like I say, on the inside here, where this one is here, we'll just put down some smooth stone again. Temporary wall. Okay, and once again, put down a, well this time we'll just put on, it should have a gap of two there. So we'll just put it in the corner like that. So it's gap of three, gap of three, gap of three, gap of three, gap of three. There we go. Now we'll put one, uh, put one there. Just to, Yeah, yeah, that looks fine. Right, okay, on to the next bit. So on each of these oak blocks we put down now, you need to go up by at least one, two, three, four, I think. Let me just check my notes. So let's start at the bottom one, two, three, four. And then it is one, two, three, four, five, and a one. Yeah, that's fine. Right, so whenever time with all these oak wood blocks, wherever you put them, replace the bottom one. So it's a four in total. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I should have just said that at the beginning, really, really. Four, 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 and a 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 four. I'll try and move it as quickly as I can. Okay, four. And then this side four. 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 Ah, <sighs> so from boring, you guys. Three, four. Because I'm trying to figure out ways how to make these uh, Minecraft tutorials shorter. But some cases, it just doesn't work. So it all depends how quickly I... I am trying to do this all in one take as well. Yeah, still learning. Still need a lot of practice. Still quite new to Minecraft. Still not figured out redstone yet. There we go. go so there we go so it should look all like this now okay now get your pillar quartz and you need to go up by five so that's one two three four five 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 one two two three four five okay and then at the top of each one you need to put a block of quartz there 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 go okay now like I say what I'll do now I'll do a quick jump cut like I say I don't want to keep you guys waiting while I quickly do this I'll be back as soon as I click my fingers there you go folks after the click of the fingers the magic fingers a bit like Q from Star Trek <laughs> and this is how it should look like by now like I say it's four oak blocks followed by well wood oak blocks 
and then five pillars and a quartz. Okay, so it should look like just like this. Okay, well, it's, I hope it is. <laughs> Okay, so what we need to do now, you need your brown concrete and you just need to fill in the gaps. So what I mean by that is start, only do the bottom for now. Start filling in like this. There you go. Okay, and until you get to about here. Okay, let's fill that in, there you go. Nice, one, two, three. Only, only on the door frame. I forgot to mention this actually, I apologize. Uh, just put down another oak wood. Okay, so one, two, three. And one, two, three. There we go. So that should be fine, just like that. And then the pillar quartz, just the same as the door frame. There you go. So I'll fill that in. There we go. And then block there and a block there. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so. Like I say, I'm going to do the magic finger click again. Uh, continue on, uh, fill in all the uh, brown concrete. Uh, and also as well, replace the smooth stone with brown concrete as well. Okay, so one, two, three. There you go. Um, I tell you, I'll replace these ones with the uh, gray, like dark gray concrete while I do as well. So here we go, another snap of the fingers in three, two, one. Okay, that's uh, well. Another click of the fingers, and I'm back. <laughs> okay, so it should look like this now. So the bottom half, like I say, the bottom four blocks should all be filled in now by brown concrete and oak wood blocks. Okay, so we're on to the next stage now. You need to get white concrete. Come to the door. Just fill in the gap here with white concrete, but don't fill in this one here. Basically, these are the windows. There were six windows on this wall here, so leave that gap there. But you can fill in this one. And there's a gap, and the next one, gap, next one, gap, next one. So just count here. So I'll go from the window, so that's one window, two windows, three windows, four windows, five windows, last one here, six windows, and then fill in the rest of the wall. There we go, fill it right to the top. There we go, just fill it in right there. There we go. There. Okay, like I say, yeah, the gym names were quite unique on the Titanic. I think it was one of the first ocean liners that had a gym name, Ian. Um, they had like, what was it, a rowing machine, punching bag. Uh, I thought it was like a, a horse riding mechanism as well for the, for the ladies. Quite unique for the time. Okay, it was actually a, um, for any uh, movie buffs out there, there was actually a deleted scene from the James Cameron film where they actually walked inside the gymnasium as well. You can find it on YouTube and stuff like that. I might put in a link in there for you uh, if you want to go check that out. So any extended scenes as well. And obviously that film is about 25 years old now. And they just celebrate the 25th anniversary. Okay, so it should look like this. So if we look on the outside here, there you go. Those are, those are the gaps in the windows. Okay, and you can fill in. Let's check the height of the windows again. Let's check my notes. So there will be five blocks high. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yep, you can fill in the top as you can speak. Uh, you can get your pillar quartz. So just go straight across like that. Uh, okay. I mean, you don't have to use this. I mean, I just think it looks nice. Uh, this, okay, this is my version of the, uh, the how the gymnasium should look in Minecraft. But like I say, I've still got a long way to go. Still building the Titanic. Getting these videos out for you guys as well. Now, there's one more window, which is allocated here. Okay, so we can fill in the white concrete on this section here. Let's fill it in now. There we go. Uh, so this is where the window is. We'll leave a gap. And fill in this one here. And uh, once again, get your pillar quartz. Fill in the top, just like that. If I just miss some here. So we're all flush now. Okay. So like I say, fill in all these one here with uh, white concrete but before we do I just want to get two beams done for you as well so the first one is located here it's roughly one two three four five it's on the six block there okay so it'll be allocated just there for you and then checking my notes again and then once you've done it you pull it straight across to the other side there we go so it should line up about actually that's not right hang on what's wrong here what is wrong here? 
Uh, okay, yeah, I know I've gone wrong. It's basically this other side here is not flush at all. Okay, so just bear with me one second, guys. Let me get this fixed. So it's gaffer two, gaffer three. Yes. Um, yeah, it should have been a two here. So if I just remove that. One, two, three. Yeah. So I do apologize, guys. So if you go back in the bit of the video, you see this section here. Okay, it was a two concrete, brown concrete, and then the wood. So that's one, two, three. Uh, yeah, it does line off a little bit off to the left, actually. Ah, one, two, three. Uh, I'm going to be hung at dawn. So, yep, so it's a gap of two there. It's just, the same, it's just the same as this wall here, basically. So, from here, there should be one, two, and then a three that one okay so I'll correct that error in the jump cut okay one two and then it's three it's still not right though what's going on oh wait no it doesn't need to be right hang on ah right one two three yeah okay right okay got it now yes so you just put a block there so after correcting the error Okay, so basically it is starting from this corner, it's a three. Uh, one, two, three. We should be doing white concrete. There we go, done. Okay, and then get the wood. There you go, so I do apologize for this folks. So I'm only human and probably recall this late at night it's probably not a good idea okay and then fill in the white concrete there we go there you go so it should look like this so he says there you go so I'll correct the air on the next jump cut so because I've still got to fill these in okay so the next one okay bear with me is it's a gap of seven so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll just fill in this section here with my white concrete. There you go. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, and then the block there. There we go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, it's a gap of seven. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then a block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then a block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know it's a bit of an odd number. So it's five, seven, and eight. Okay. So basically, put, get your pillar quartz, drag it to the other end of the room. Go. It just lines just off center there, but I'll say it will be centered because obviously uh, I like can show you here. So that's one, two, three, and a gap, one, two, three, and a gap because obviously I've gone on this section here. Right, so I'm going to do another jump cut, guys. Okay, so if you fill in those two, put uh, all these outer walls here, and I'll correct this error here with white concrete, and I'll be back with another click of the fingers. Right, after another click of the fingers, I'm back. So it should look like this, folks. Like I say, I do apologize for the error before. So back on this wall here, facing towards the bow, it's a three. And then on this other side here, it'll be a two. But, you know, looking down, it's two. Yep, three, three. And then on the next little three, there's the pillar, and there's the pillar. Okay? Right, let's get on with it. All right, okay, so as I say, we're filling in all the walls now. So what we need to do now, there's a couple of support pillars on this beam here. Okay, so you need to get a oak wood box again. Now, the frame numbers you need are 17, 21, and 25. What I mean by that is I'll start with 17. Let me just find it down here, which is this block here. Pull it on the other side. Okay, and you just pull an oak block just underneath the pillar beam. Uh, once you line it up properly. And then you get your... Well, I use a dark oak fence for this one. Okay, you don't have to, but that's what I use. Okay, and then you just put it on top and you're going straight up. There we go. So 
it should line up nicely. There you go. Oh, I keep falling down. There you go, there. So it should look like that. Okay, so the next one, after 17, is a 21 and 25. So we can just count them up, really. So that's 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. It's there. So basically, it's a gap of three. So that's one, two, three. So that's 21, so that's 22, 23, 24, 25. Ooh, excuse me. Ah, uh, right, pull this straight up. There you go. That's been one, two, and three. There you go. It's only on that side, though. There wasn't any on this side. It was more space for the for the gym equipment. Okay. So what we need to do now, folks, is get your pillow quartz blocks again. Now we're going to go overhead and fill in all the frames. So basically, we're going straight across on each frame. But we use pillow quartz as well, and I'll see at the end here as well. Do the same. There we go. One, two, three, and four. That's the fourth one. And so forth and so forth. And obviously as well, get your block of quartz. And basically when you see these gaps here, just fill them in like this. So it looks like that basically. As you're looking up, looking up. Okay. And like I say, I'm going to have to do another jump cut, guys. Because like I say, I want to try to keep this video as short as I can but like I said every frame you see every frame line basically pull it straight across with pillar quartz there we go that's another one there we go and then another one here put it right across there you go oh missed the gap there white concrete fill that in okay and I'll just Great concrete there. That's for the door frame. Okay, so like I say, I'll be back once again. With another click of the fingers. Okay, we're back in the room, folks. So it should look like this now. So I'll just give you a quickly tour around. So like I say, uh, well, took a little while there at that time. So it should look like this here. You should have two pillars, uh, two beams going straight across. Like I say, there should be a gap of three, six, eight, followed by the seven, followed by the five. Okay, so now we're going to do some lights now because we need to light this room. All right, we're going to start off in this corner over here. Okay, so we'll start off with this first block here. Now, you need your trusty, trusty friend, the sea lantern and the block of gold. So you need to find the middle block. Okay, so you go one, two, and then they remove the, um, sorry. Move one, put a temporary box, so that's where it's going to go, and then you just put a sea lantern just beneath, okay? And then you give it a gap up. I still can't get my words out tonight. Uh, give it, give yourself a gap of one, and then we move on to the next one. So that's one, two, move that one, gap of one, then it's there, move that one, gap of one, and it's there, that one. So basically, the, uh, the lights are going actually in the windows, so gap of one there. And then one, two, remove, remove that one. Gap one again. Temporary block, the real block, remove. Gap one again. Temporary block, the real block, remove. And keep going and going until you come to the end. Okay. Actually, we don't really need to do this one here because we've come to the end just here, you see. So, like I can say on the other side, so the middle that section this time. So, obviously, you get your sea lanterns as well. Okay. And light each one okay now the middle section here so it's basically one two three four five six seven get your block of go so it's basically three in so that's one two three that one here temporary block real block remove and so forth and so forth okay okay temporary block real block remove temporary block real block remove Temporary block, real block remove, and so forth and so forth. Now, I'll say I won't do more because I say it'll be another jump cut, but folks, but you do the same all the way up to the end. And then this one here, okay, it's going to be a little bit difficult now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll say it was a block around, so let's pretend that's the ninth block. So it'll be about one, two, three, four. You're going on the fifth block, so that'll be about here. It won't be even because we'll be quite near the wall. Okay, so. 
it'll be temporary block, real block, remove again. Okay, so that's where the light's going to go. Actually, no, what we'll do, we'll go one more in. So it'll be a gap of three. Because I do know on this wall here, there's like a cabinet that shows like the uh, the diagram of the ship and the, a map of the Atlantic Ocean of the route for the White Star Line, the routes it take. I mean, what I'm trying to figure out, I'm not going to actually do that as well, because I'm trying to figure out how to import images. Does anybody know how to do that? Like, I get, get actual pictures and imprint them on Minecraft. Because I'd love to have a schematic of the actual ship and print it on this wall here. It'd be great. If anybody knows, just uh, leave it in the comments or share a video for me. That'd be very much appreciated. So, like I say, continue on as well. So, like I say, it's a gap of three this time. You're on the fourth block. And keep going all the way up to the end. Say, yourself. Yeah, our temporary block as well and put your sea lanterns as well another thing here as well you need to do folks we need to enclose the roof now so once you've done your sea lanterns okay get your friend the smooth stone and basically from starting at the top you need to start filling it in so fill all that in fill all that in put the section in and so forth there we go Go, fill that one all in and so forth and so forth so I'm gonna have to do another jump cut folks because it'll just take too long for the video and you probably might fall asleep by now so continue on like I say start from this frame here give yourself a gap and then put the real sea lantern in there and continue that all the way up to the end and I'll be back with another click of the fingers right I'm back up again guys so it should look like this now on the inside Roof is now covered, and this is what it looks like on the inside with all the sea lanterns in place. Perfecto. Right, so we're going to do the windows now. So you need your uh, glass panel, and basically just fill in the gaps. So it'll be five blocks high and three blocks across, which it is. So that's one, two, oh, got that wrong already. Uh, fill that one here. Uh, so forth. So this is the inside of the windows, but we need to do the outside as well, of course. Give me one second. There you go. That's one lot. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three. Whoop. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, five. So far, so, so you get the idea. So that's what the inside looks like. And you do the same for this window at the end as well. So it's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, whoop. two, three, four, five. There we go. There you go. That's enclosed. go that's that one done and this one is now done okay so it's coming along like I say I won't be doing the gym equipment I have no idea how to do that really like I say for this build I am just doing the design of the rooms and the layout of the ship like I say I'm going to use it to your imagination but there you go so that's the room that this is the gymnasium done on the inside also we do need to put a floor down so I'm gonna leave that just to the end but for the time being, you need to go back to the roof. It's out through the door now. Okay. Now get your dark oak slab and basically go along basically the outside, on the inside of the slab, go straight across and straight to the end as well. Okay, but when you get to the end, don't go over the quartz slab here. Basically, we need to keep this uh, basic area clear because this is the area for the second funnel. So what I mean by it is, is just go on the inside of here all the way up to the end to reach about to roughly here okay so but we can go basically we're gonna leave that blank there because this is where Ben's gonna be so that'll be in the next video okay and then I'll just do a quick outline so we can connect the birch slab to this section here we'll still need to leave this section all blank here just behind the grand dome staircase casing and the vent as well because I'll say I need to explain it but all this section here you can now fill in with a birch slab so that all can now be filled in. Okay, so let's go back to the outside now. We're going to do the windows. So get your blocks of quartz. Uh, you can fill it in the bottom of four lines. Well, you've got the bottom one is grey, and then you've got three lines. So let's fill that one in. This one in here too. 
Okay, now as you remember to do how the windows, they need to be five length and width. So basically put your quartz blocks on the white concrete areas, but don't put it on the pillars. So for that section in there, that section done now, and this one. Okay, and I think one of these sections here, there is a light I do know, which I'll put on for you. There we go. Go. Actually, no, we've done the windows there. <laughs> so this little section here can be filled in, folks. There we go. Let's fill it in. One, two, one, two, one, two. Like I say, if you want to use this build as a downloadable project, by all means, go straight ahead. Do any, anything you like with it. But all I ask for is just a little bit of credit. Okay, so just give me a mention. Give me a shout out. I'll put in my direction of the channel. It does help the channel grow. But like I say, by all means, um, I mean, if you want to send me some pictures of... Um, you know, send me links to your own YouTube videos if you decide to build it. We'd love to see it. Okay, so there we go. So let's fill all this in. There we go. It's going to be filled in. But obviously, we will be removing some of these blocks because this area here is going to be the first class lounge. Um, yeah, it's the dome over the lounge as well. So that'd be fun to do. Okay, but like I say, we do need to get on with the funnels and the vents as well. So, next video, guys, will be about the vents, the air vents. I think there's probably about four, as you can see there. I've been building them on the Titanic. It is a bit complicated as well, so it might be another long video, folks. But there you go, that's what it should look like on the outside. Now, you need to get your dark oak planks going to the middle of your window and you just need to go up by five one two three four five and the sides are done by four one two three four one two three four okay and then you get your dark oak stairs which i don't have wasn't ready for that okay and basically in the corners here just get another block of quartz and fill in the top and then staircase staircase and then get your dark oak slab one at the bottom, one at the bottom, and then the next block up, make sure you get the bottom there. Next block up, bottom there. Next block up, bottom there. So you should have one, two, three, four slabs in total. And it's an excellent video. So I could just stay on the slabs, really. One, two. Oop. Get the control pad's playing up tonight. One. There we go. So that's one block. Two block. Three, four, say block of quartz, fill in the corners. In fact, I'll do the next windows now for you. So it's there and there, 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 there. Get this one done around the corner. There and there. So I've got the plants. That's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then it's a one, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four. Then get your, then you can get your stairs. Fill in the corner. So that's that staircase on that. Well, it's not staircase. It's a window. Okay. So like I say, st stair there, stair there, stair there, stair there, stair there, stair there, stair there. There, there. Okay, so like I say, I won't do the rest of the windows now. I'll leave that for the jump cut, but we are going to do a little bit of a railing now. Ooh, well, I was wrong. Let's get that right. So what you need is, once again, a dark oak fence. Okay, so basically we're doing the same as before, folks. So put your first one, as I could say, it's two blocks high above the grey concrete. So it's three blocks high if you went from the deck. Put one here, and one here, one here, it's basically in between the three, and another, and another, and it'd be about here, and then if you imagine there's a gap of, well it's one, and then one, two, three, and one there, so it's two in from the edge there, and then what you need to do is get your dark oak fence gate, and you just join it up 
in the middle there. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to do another jump cut again, guys. I'm going to finish these windows off, do the top of the deck, and we're on the home stretch. And we'll do the railing. So I'll be back with another click of the fingers. Right then, so that's the roof now completed with the deck on top and it should look like this as well, folks. So, like I say, it has come on nicely, but we're on to the final stage now. We're going to do the railing. Okay, so what you need is your block of quartz again. And once again, as we said in the last episode, it's a gap of at least four or three but between each block. Okay, and I've just realised actually looking at this one, this one is wrong. I found a three, so I'll just correct that now as we go along. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> Okay, so smooth quartz, there we go. Uh, I'll put smooth quartz there for now. And uh, then I need to fix this one as well. Let me see. Let's fix that one. I don't know, I missed that one. Okay, so like I said, there's a block, a gap of four in between each one. Fix that one. So we'll start here. So it's one, two, three. So we count that one. One, two, three, four. And so it's this one. Got a gap of four, and it's a three, four blocks high. So that's one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. That one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's this one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it's the one right at the end. Four. And uh, gap of four there. Gap of four there. Gap of four there. Uh, gap of four there, gap of four there, I'm repeating myself quite a lot, <laughs> and a gap of four there, and a four, there we go, and a four, and a four, and a four, and that's one, two, three, four, there we go. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. And you're getting the idea, so it's a four there. So we'll end it just there. So as I say, we'll be doing the vents here as well, so we'll join up later. So get your, so we'll go right back over here. Smooth quartz slab. And you just start basically putting your, putting the slabs down for where the uh, quartz slabs are. So one, two there, and fill that in there. And obviously we just need to do a one at the bottom here and a one at the top there, followed by a three on this side. There we go. Let's check everything's correct now before we go any further. Yep, it is. Okay, so that is pulling it right across now. And obviously when you get to do this bit, this is the fun bit. So you do one, two, move the one. One, two, move the one. One, two, move the one. One, two, move the temporary one. And same again. So it's one, two, move the one. One, two, move the one. Two, move the one. One, two, move the one. Okay, and let's pull this right across here. Be quicker doing it this way. Like I say, folks, thanks for sticking with me. Uh, it does mean a lot that you're all subscribing to the channel. It does help the channel grow. Like I say, if you want to do, build this project yourself, go right ahead, not a problem. Just ask for a little credit, or a mention, or a shout out, or a share of the, of the project. And uh, yeah, as I say, if you're building it yourself, doing your own YouTube channels on it, uh, give us a link and I'll come watch it. Watch my own build, see how you guys do it. <laughs> okay, so there we go, final one now. Uh, let's go back to the beginning again. All the way over here. There we go. Okay, so like I say, the next stage, uh, we'll be doing the funnels and the vents, but most of the vents first. Uh, but the big one will be the start of the first funnel. Okay, so coming straight across, like I say, it's the second block up, folks. It's the top half of the second block. And also we'll start over here and just drag it right across, and there we go. And just cosmetic reasons as well. Just put a button on the top of each quartz block. Makes it a bit more unique. Six and oh, I have to move that one. 
and that one, 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 and as well, you might as well, uh, for what I've done here, put a button at the bottom of each quartz blocks as well, but not on the wooden part, on the quartz side, it just gives it a bit of a little cosmetic look, rather than look all blocky all the time, might as well put some uh, rivets on it, it's a shame we just don't have uh, white buttons, that would have been helpful. Come on, Minecraft, give us some white... We want white buttons! That's what we want. Ah, uh, and we are done. There you go. So, like I say, thanks for sticking around, folks. So, this is the gymnasium now complete of the build. And we've done quite well here tonight. Or daytime, if you're watching on daytime. Now, the inside floor. Okay, this is entirely your option. You can either put some slabs down any colour you want. Uh, or, as I say, you do a bit of carpet. The only difference is, uh, if you put down the quartz slabs, hit like that, obviously you get a perfect lip. Um, but if you put carpet down, uh, I'll just give you an example. See, with this mod, uh, well, it's not a mod, it's a skin pack, really, isn't it? The carpet is a lot lower like that. So it's entirely your choice. So, like I say, what I might do is just put some quartz slabs down. But obviously I won't be doing the video, there's no point. Um, you know, I'll just put quarter slabs in for now, like I say, it goes right across. Just fill it all in. And before, as as well, you come to the pillars here, just go around them. But like I say, um, I won't be doing the gym equipment. Like I say, this design is purely for your room basis only. Like I say, you know, I want people to, be, people to be creative, you know, it's easier for me doing it all and just showing you. But I'd really like to see other people's thoughts or, like I said, their own builds. It's great, I mean, that's what Minecraft's all about. It's all about sharing uh, your experiences and your builds. I know it's easier for me to do a tutorial and say, oh, just do it like this. <laughs> but, like I say, folks, no, I won't be doing any of the equipment or furniture or anything like that it's just purely a room basis only right then so that's it for folks if you feel like i say if you like what you see give us a like give us a subscribe it does help the channel glow uh, hit the big red button and uh, right okay so i'm gonna leave you all here now and i'll see you all in the next one